Hari Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hare 
Jayo Radhe Sham Radhe Sham Radhe Sham Jayo 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 Jayo Radhe Sham Radhe Sham Radhe Sham Jayo Radhe Sham Good afternoon, everyone. Hare Krishna, всем добрый день. Welcome to our reading of Chaitanya Bhagavat. Добро пожаловать на чтение Чайтанья Бхагавата. From Sri Vrindavan Dham. It's Sri Vrindavan Dham. It's um, it's 39 degrees today. Сегодня 39 градусов. But um, inside the house with the fan and with the windows closed. 
is still wonderful. Но в доме с включенными вентиляторами и закрытыми окнами находиться приятно. I've mentioned many times before that generally by this time of the year temperatures can be going up to 45 degrees. Я уже упоминал несколько раз, что обычно в это время года температура может подняться до 45 градусов. But it's very wonderful this year. Но в этом году все очень удивительно. Very, very nice. Очень приятно. I will continue reading Chaitanya Bhagavat, but for a moment I would just like to mention one individual. И мы продолжим читать Chaitanya Bhagavat, но перед этим я хотел упомянуть одну личность. And that is the devotee who built the house just next to my house. Это тот преданный, который построил дом рядом с моим. Her name is Archie Vigraha Devi Dasi. Зовут ее Archie Vigraha Devi Dasi. And she built this house next door, so her Guru Maharaj, His Holiness Giriraj Swami would have a place to do his bhajan in Vrindavan. And today is the day that marks Archa's uh, disappearance from this world. Goodness, I think it must be 26 or 27 years since Archa uh, passed away. And she was a wonderful Vaishnavi. Uh, she was from Johannesburg, South Africa. She was much elder to me. But in the few years that we knew one another, we had a very close and wonderful relationship. Archa was the type of person who could uh, never turn away from a person who was in need. Archa была таким человеком, который никогда не отворачивается от того, кто в нужде. She constantly was just pouring so much love and affection on anybody who came in her circle. Она постоянно проливала много любви на всех, кто оказывался в ее окружении. She was a famous artist. From that era, which was, you know, still the uh, apartheid, racist era of South Africa, she was she was quite famous and well known. But. By Krishna's divine arrangement, she met her spiritual master, Srila Giriraj Swami, and she became uh, a devotee. No, by милости Krishna, она встретила своего духовного учителя Srila Giriraj Swami и стала преданной. Archa had cancer. У Archi был рак. And uh, she went through one treatment, and the cancer went into remission. Она прошла через, ну, воспользовалась терапией и рак перешел на этап ремиссии. But then the cancer it returned. Но потом он вернулся. By that time, her house was finished. К тому времени этот дом был уже построен. And she had a team of wonderful Vaishnavis who were uh, taking care of her. И у нее была целая команда чудесных вайшнави, которые они заботились. Кунти Деви Даси was caring, and Nam Chintamani was caring. Кунти Деви Даси заботилась о ней, Nam Chintamani заботилась о ней. And I was her next door neighbor. А я был ее соседом. 
So I was always trying to help as much as I could in their uh, in their work with Arches Health. And the main blessing that I had is that um, I would go and I would read for Archa. And when I would read to her about Krishna, I would see um, phenomenal changes come across her. Some evenings I would go to her house. Well, generally I would visit twice a day. Uh, I, would, I would bounce in there after the morning program and just survey the situation and try to give some joking, uplifting words for her and her team to make everything a little bit lighter. Я обычно заскакивал после утренней программы и пытался оценить, какая же обстановка, и своими добрыми шуточными словами поддержать ее и ее команду. And then I would go in the evening time every day. And I would read to her. And uh, she was especially fond of hearing Sri Govinda Lilamrita. Because in that book, uh, Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj gives such beautiful descriptions about Krishna's activities the eight time periods of the day. And sometimes when I would enter Archa's room, she would literally just be sitting on her bed, you know, with her hand on her head, crying because of the pain that she was feeling from her cancer. И часто было так, что когда я заходил в ее комнату, она буквально сидела на кровати, держась руками за голову и плача от боли, которые, которую вызывал рак. And I would sit down and start to read. Я садился и начинал читать. And her pain would transform into ecstasy. И эта боль преобразовывалась в экстаз. She would become so focused. And being an artist is as if she could just perfectly see the scene that Kaviraj Goswami was writing. It was, it was phenomenal. It was like just the transition from agony the ecstasy through hearing Krishna Kata. She was such an attractive devotee that all the members of the Vrindavan community would regularly come and read for her or chant for her. And uh, and I have photos still of like so like groups of so many wonderful Vaishnavas sitting around Arch's bed and just sharing Krishna Kata. И у меня до сих пор сохранились фотографии как группы из многих чудесных Вайшнавов Вриндавана сидят вокруг Арчи Виграхи и делятся с ней Кришна Катхой. I have a picture where uh, Tamal Krishna Maharaj is there, Giriraj Maharaj is there, Shivaram Swami Maharaj is there. У меня есть фотографии, как там присутствовали Tamal Krishna Maharaj, Giriraj Swami Maharaj, Shivaram Swami Maharaj. Even one time 
Srila uh, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, he heard of this wonderful Vaishnavi and he came all the way to our neighborhood just to meet her. I used to take my big Gornitai deities over to her house so she could have darshan every day. Я каждый день приносил свои большие божества в ее дом, чтобы она могла получать Даша. She was a wonderful Vaishnavi. Она была чудесная Вайшнави. And uh, Srila Giriraj Swami, he came and he stayed for some extended amount of time and he would chant his japa by Archa and he would read for Archa. Uh, Srila Giriraj Swami Maharaj, он uh, оста остался тоже жить здесь, uh, uh, как бы продлил время своего пребывания, и он читал джапу вместе с Арши и читал мне. And she was very humbled and appreciative. И она чувствовала себя очень смиренно из-за этого и очень ценила и благодарила за это. And she made a request to her spiritual master. И она попросила своего духовного учителя. And she said, if you ever have the facility, please uh, create a situation in Brindavan where people can come and they can live their final days and pass away from this world with the care and the dignity that I have received. Uh, она попросила, что если у вас будет возможность, пожалуйста, сделайте такое место в Вриндауне, куда бы могли приезжать преданные, доживать свои последние дни и получать такую же заботу и поддержку, которую получаю я. And based on that request of his disciple, uh, Srila Giriraj Maharaj established the Bhaktivedanta Hospice here in Vrindavan. И основываясь на этой просьбе своего ученика Шила Гирираш с вами организовал Бахтиданта Хоспис здесь в Риндаване. So my neighbor was a wonderful Vaishnavi. Так, моя соседка была чудесной Вайшнавой. She was blessed to pass away in Vrindavan. Настолько прекрасно, что она была благословлена оставить тело в Риндаване. Шила Прабхупада would tell us. Шила Прабхупада говорил нам. To be born in Vrindavan is good. To live in Vrindavan is better. And to die in Vrindavan is best. So she received this great, great blessing of giving up her life in Vrindavan. And our Shastra explains that if any living being gives up his life in Vrindavan, he can go to Goloka Vrindavan. So on Arches Disappearance Day, I would uh, pray that she will be merciful to me. И в день ухода Арчи Виграхи я молюсь, чтобы она была милостива ко мне. And she will bless me with her spirit of service to Vaishnavas. Чтобы она меня благословила своим духом служения Вайшнавам. Hare Krishna. And when we conclude reading, I can show you two, uh, two items that Archa drew by hand. One is a, uh, a pencil drawing of Radha Krishna and they look just like perfect, young, youthful people. 
Одно из этих изображений – это карандашный рисунок, изображающий Радху и Кришну, на котором они выглядят как очень юная пара. Because they are like that. Потому что они такие есть. They're young, they're youthful. Они молодые, юны. Fresh beauty. Свежая красота. Sometimes you see pictures of Radha and Krishna and they even look a little too old. Иногда можно увидеть изображение Радхи и Кришны, где они кажутся даже чересчур взрослыми. I remember at one point there were it was an era in ISKCON where pictures of Radha and Krishna were coming out and uh, Krishna looked like he just finished working out in the fitness hall. Я помню, была эпоха в ИСКОН, когда выпускали изображение Радхи и Кришны, и Кришна выглядел так, как будто бы он только что вышел из спортзала. But uh, I'll show you this picture, how young and and uh, tender and youthful Radha and Krishna look. Я покажу вам это изображение, вы увидите, как uh, как нежная юность uh, проявляется в Радхи и Кришне. And also I'll show you a uh, print that she, or well, drawing that she did of Srila Prabhupada by pencil and uh, and all the lines in Srila Prabhupada's charter are the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Okay, so let's read a little bit. His Holiness Giriraj Maharaj sent me a message last night reminding me that today is Archa's disappearance day. And, uh, she was so wonderful, I just wanted to say a few words. Okay, let's offer obeisances to Prabhupada and to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nityanamane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pacharane Nirvishisha Sunya Vadipastacha Devi Sitarane Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Krishna Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Iti Namane Mancha Kalpa Tarubyas Cha Kipasana Bevi Cha Patita Nantavani Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Ananda Lila Maya Vigrahaya Himabhidipa Cha Vishundaraya Tasmai Maha Prema Rasa Pradaya Chitanya Chandraya Namo Namaste Nityanandam Maham Nomi Sarvananda Karamparam Harinam Pradam Devam Avaruta Shuramani Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Dvaiti Gadarhar Shri Vasti Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Brinda Bindas Thakur has been uh, describing how the Vaishnavas who participated in Lord Chaitanya's Leela appeared in different places. And he says, but ultimately because the Lord appeared in Navadweep, all these Vaishnavas would gather in that place. And text 54 it says, because the Lord would appear in Navadweep, the devotees all gathered together there. And this is Srila Bhakti Siddhanta's purport. Sri Navadweep is considered the most glorious abode in the entire universe. For on one hand, Sri Navadweep is the birthplace of Sri uh, Gaurasundar, the personification of love of God. And on the other hand, innumerable associates of the Lord who are able to purify the entire world were also present there. 
Шинавадипа считается самой прославленной обителью во всей Вселенной, поскольку с одной стороны Ши Навадипа это место рождения Ши Гаурасундары, олицетворение любви к Богу, а с другой стороны бесчисленные спутники Господа, которые способны очистить весь мир, тоже присутствовали там. Since the wonderful, sweet prema of Vrindavan was hidden, the six Goswamis and their followers lived in Sri Vrindavan and broadcast Lord Krishna's eternal pastimes on the orders of Sri Gorsundar. Поскольку чудесная сладчайшая према Вриндавана была скрыта, шесть Госвами и их последователи жили в Шри Вриндаване и транслировали вечные игры Господа Кришны по приказу Шри Гаврасундар. Similarly, during the time of Sri Gorsundar, many devotees came from various places to Nabadweep and assisted the Lord in his kirtan pastimes. Подобным образом, во времена Шри Гаврасундара многие преданные пришли из различных мест в Шри Навадипу и помогали Господу в его играх киртан. So, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta says that, that uh, Nabadweep is the most glorious abode in the entire universe. Shri Bhakti Siddhanta говорит, что Навадипа самая прославленная обитель во всей Вселенной. He says for two reasons. Потом Because this is the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he said, and also because so many associates uh, came to live with him there and perform his kirtan pastimes. And he said, all of those Vaishnavas had so much spiritual potency that they were able to purify all the three worlds. He said, but since Krishna's Lilastan and Vrindavan had become hidden, Lord Chaitanya requested the Goswamis and their followers to live in Vrindavan. Но также он объясняет, что поскольку сладчайшие игры Вриндавана были скрыты, он попросил Господь, попросил uh, преданных поехать в Вриндаван и там найти эти места игр. We know that uh, when Lord Chaitanya met Rupa and Sanatana Goswami, he informed them that I want to perform many devotional services through your bodies. Мы можем вспомнить, что когда Господь Читания встретил руку с Натаном Госвами, он им сказал, что у меня есть множество видов преданного служения, которые я хочу совершить посредством ваших тел. Я хочу, чтобы вы писали произведения, которые полностью описывают науку сознания Кришны. Я хочу, чтобы вы открыли the places of Krishna's Leela that, that have been forgotten. So they came here and they lived. And uh, Gopal Bhatta came here from South India. Raghunath Das came after living in Jagannath Puri with uh, Mahaprabhu. Raghunath Das, he came here with a desire to end his life due to feelings of separation from Lord Chaitanya. He, uh, he couldn't stay in Jagannath Puri after the Lord and his associates began to disappear. He said that every grain of sand on the beach in Jagannath Puri was like a great servant, serpent that was uh, prepared to strike him and kill him due to feelings of separation from the Lord. 
Он говорил, что каждая песчинка на берегу океана подобна змее, которая готова в любой момент укусить его. То есть и это происходит из-за разлуки с Господом. So he came to Vrindavan with the intent to end his life. But Sanatana Goswami advised him against that. And Rupa Goswami advised him to live at uh, Radhakun and perform bhajan there. Which he did for about 50 years. And his devotional service was to write about Krishna. And uh, show the devotees how to do bhajan. And share the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with um, with Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Um, yeah, so all the Goswamis came here on Lord Chaitanya's order. And Jiva Goswami was young, he came here. So all of the great uh, disciples of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they gathered here and they performed this work of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Таким образом, все вайшнавы, преданные Читанию Махапрабху, пришли, собрались здесь, и они занимались деятельностью, следуя приказам Читанию Махапрабху. Шрила Прабхупада would always cite the verse from the Goswami Astakam. Шрила Прабхупада всегда цитировал стих из Госвами Аштаки. He would say, Nana Shastra Bichara Naika Nipano Shad Dharma San Stathako Lokanam Hitikara Notri Bhuvane Manyo Sharanya Karo that they came here and they scrutinized all the revealed scriptures to extract the essential essence and meaning of the scriptures, which is bhakti or devotion to God. Там говорится, что они пришли сюда, чтобы тщательно изучить все священные писания и выделить оттуда самую суть, uh, которая является бхакти, преданное служение Господу. And they did that for the fallen people of the world. И сделали они это ради блага падших людей этого мира. So we really have a, a great uh, debt uh, of gratitude to pay to our Goswamis for fulfilling this order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Поэтому на нас долг uh, отблагодарить and text 55 it said there is no place in the three worlds like Navadweep where Lord Sri Chaitanya appeared uh, purport by Srila Bhaktisiddhanta there are 14 worlds in the material universe. Among them, Bur, Buvar, and Swar are mainly inhabited by materialistic persons. Among the three worlds, Jambu Dweep of this earth planet is the best. And in Jambu Dweep, Bharat Varsha is the best. And in the land of Bharat Varsha, Gaudamandala, which is non different from Brajamandala, is the best. And the, and the most pious, the most pious nine islands of Navadweep, they are the best. And the most pious nine islands of Navadweep, they are the best. 
дети островов Шинарита считаются лучшими. There is no place superior to Nabadweep in the three worlds. Нет места в трех мирах, которое было бы превосходило на воде. Because Sri Gorahari, the all auspicious ocean of mercy, imparted love of God, which is rarely attained even by the demigods, to anyone and everyone without considering whether they were qualified recipients or not. Поскольку Sri Gorahari, все благое океан сострадания, Даровал любовь к Богу, которую редко можно обрести, которую редко обретают даже полубоги. И он даровал ее каждому, не считая, квалифицированы они или нет. Therefore, the glories of Sri Navadweep are factually incomparable and matchless. Поэтому слава Sri Navadweep поистине не, не сравненна и не при, uh, ее невозможно превзойти. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta really gives a good breakdown. He said, uh, you have 14 uh, worlds in the material universe. And he says, Bur, Bhuva and Swar, they're inhabited by materialistic people. And he says, Jambudweep, of the earth planet is the best. And in Jambudweep, Bharat Varsha is the best. And in Bharat Varsha, Gaudamandala is best. And he says, and please be conscious that Gaudamandala and Brajamandala are not different. Помните, Гауда Мандала и Враджа Мандала не отличны. And in Gauda Mandala, the nine islands of Navadweep are best. И в Гауда Мандале девять островов Навадвипы самые лучшие. And why? И почему? Because Lord Chaitanya appeared there. Поскольку там явился Господь Читанья. And he imparted the greatest gift of love of God to everyone without discrimination. И он раздавал дар любви к Богу каждому без he didn't care whether people were qualified or not. So just take love of God. Even in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is different. Because Krishna says, surrender to me. If you surrender to me, then I cleanse your heart and you get bhakti. And Lord Chaitanya just said, take the holy names and swim in love. Knowing that the Lord would appear, providence arranged all prosperity and opulence in advance. Судьба устроила все благополучие и процветание заранее. Is all okay? You got it? Yes. Okay. Who can describe the opulence of Navadvip? Кто способен описать богатство Навадвипы? One hundred thousand people would take bath at one bathing ghat. Сто тысяч человек могли принимать омовение на одном гате. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta says, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta говорит, No one is able to describe with words the opulence and prosperity of Nabadweep at that time. Никто не способен описать словами роскошь и процветание Нападвипы в те времена. Sri Nabadweep Dham was decorated with all the good fortune of the seven holy cities of India that award liberation. And those different cities are listed as follows. 
Ayodhya, Mathura, Haridwar, Kashi, Benares, Kanchi, Avanti, Ujjain, and Dwarka, and thus qualified, and 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 consequently, Navadvi became qualified to bear the imprint of the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya. Эти города Йодхи, Матхура, Харидвар, Каши, Лебинарес, Канчи, Аванти, Риуджейн и Дварака. Именно поэтому uh, Навадвипа была способна нести на себе отпечатки трансцендентных лотосных стоп Господа Чайтани. At that time, Sri Mayapurdam was so thickly populated that innumerable residents and visitors would bathe at each ghat on the Ganga. И в те времена Шимайпур Дама была так густо населена, что бесчисленные обитатели и гости города при, ä, принимали омовение в каждом гате на Ганге. Шив, Немножечко охладим. By the merciful glance of Saraswati, the goddess of learning, hundreds of thousands of children, youth, and old people were expert in the scriptures. Благодаря сострадательному взгляду Сарасвати, богине знания, сотни тысяч детей, молодых людей, пожилых людей были искусны или в совершенстве знали Писание. It appears that Navadweep of that time uh, could compete with Banaras as being a center of learning. All of those people were proud of being great scholars. And even young boys would challenge their teachers. И даже маленькие мальчики бросали вызов своим учителям. And Shri Bhakti Siddhanta says in his purport. В комментарии Shri Bhakti Siddhanta говорит. The cultivation of knowledge was so mature that people all considered themselves matchless scholars. Развитие знания было настолько зрелое, что все жители считали себя несравненными учеными. By the power of their learning, even young students who were still studying competed with elder, mature teachers with hopes of winning. Благодаря силе своего знания, даже uh, юные студенты, которые еще учились, при этом они бросали вывод, вы, вы, вызов старшим. Uh, the word kaksha in this verse means competition or debate on the scriptures. Слово kaksha в этом стихе означает соревнования или дебаты на тему писания. I saw something very nice like this, but it wasn't in India. Я видел нечто подобное, но не в Индии. Uh, a few years back, I made Kailash Parikram. And one of the places that we stopped on the way to Kailash, there was an, an ancient monastery with a very big school. And um, in the afternoon, perhaps in the morning also, but we were there in the afternoon, they would have debate competition. And it would be in a courtyard of the monastery. And there would be different groups of students according to their age groups. And you would have masters. And the masters were presenting arguments. 
and these different groups of students were like very, you know, loudly debating philosophy with one another. И разные эти группы учеников, они очень громко проводили дебаты друг с другом. It's very, very, you know, enlivening to see this. Это было очень впечатляющее зрелище. So here it says that this was going on in Navadvip also. И здесь говорится, что в Навадвипе то же самое происходило. Many people came from various provinces to study in Navadvip because by studying there one achieved a taste for education. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta says, students interested in studying logic came from Maitila to Navadvip. Студенты или ученики, заинтересованные в изучении логики, приходили из Майдхилы в Новодвиг. Many sannyasis and qualified professors from Varanasi in North India came to study Vedanta in Novodvip. Многие саньяси и квалифицированные профессоры из Варанаси и в, Ю... в Северной Индии приходили изучать Веданту в Новодвиг. Many students from Kanchi in South India came to study in Navadvip. So therefore, many students from all the provinces came to Navadvip to get the opportunity to become expert scholars. Therefore, no one could count the innumerable students and millions of teachers gathered in Navadvip. A lot of teachers there. And lots of students. By the merciful glance of Rama, the goddess of fortune, everyone lived happily in Navadweep, but they wasted their time in mundane activities. So it appears that Vrindavan Das Thakur is going to give us a picture of the mentality of the people at that time. The goddess of fortune blessed Navadvip. So everyone was materially very successful. But w along with material success they engaged in mundane activity. Из-за этого материального успеха они заняты материальной деятельностью. And purport says, Комментарий Шила Бхакти Сиданта говорит, Although, by the mercy of Lakshmi Devi, Navadvip was full of opulence and the abode of happiness, people who were maddened by material happiness were simply interested to increase their material knowledge in order to gratify their senses. Несмотря на то, что по милости Лакшми Деви Навадипа была исполнена богатств, была обителью счастья, люди, которые были опьянены или сведены с ума этим материальным счастьем, интересовались исключительно увеличением своего материального знания, чтобы удовлетворять свои чувства. Thus, they uselessly spent their time in ordinary worldly dealings. Таким образом, из-за этого они бесполезно проводили свое время uh, в обычных мирских делах. In his book, Sri Chaitanya Chandram Rita, Tridandi Swami Sri Prabodhananda Saraswati Pad has described the mentality of the materialists and the tapasvis, who at the time of Sriman Mahaprabhu were proud of their mundane godless knowledge. Uh, 
В своей книге Шичи Танишин Драмитта Триданди с вами Шива Прабхадананда Сарасвати Пад описал сознание материалистов и тапасви, которые, в те, которые во времена Шимана Махапрабху гордились своим мирским безбожным знанием. The whole universe was devoid of devotion to Krishna and Balaram, and future symptoms of the age of Kali had become manifest in the beginning of the age. People's religion consisted of fruitive activities and they would stay awake through the night chanting prayers to Mangala Chandi, Goddess Durga. Religion людей состояла из деятельности ради плодов, и поэтому они бодрствовали всю ночь, произнося молитвы Мангала Чанди, богини Дурги. Some people proudly worship Bishahari, the goddess of snakes, and others spent great wealth in idol worship. Некоторые люди гордливо поклонялись Вишахари, богине змей, а другие тратили огромные богатства на поклонение идолам. So it appears that, you know, this uh, diversion of Vedic culture, it takes place at different times in history. Похоже, что вот это отклонение от от ведического пути происходит несколько раз на протяжении истории. People were worshiping Mangala Chandi. Люди поклонялись Мангала Чанди. She would reduce their material sufferings. Чтобы она умерила их материальные страдания. They were worshiping Vishahari, who was the goddess of snakes. И они поклонялись Иши Хари, которая является богиней змей. And others were engaged in different types of idol worship. А другие занимались разнообразным идолопоклонством. And Srila Bhaktisiddhanta says, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta говорит, Ordinary people, particularly the rich mercantile community, lavishly spent money for the worship of Manasa Devi, another name of Bishahari. They, they purchased the entire Brahmin and Pandit communities and kept them under their control. Обычные люди, в частности, богатые торговцы, общины богатых торговцев, щедро тратили свои деньги на поклонение Манаса Деви, это другое имя Вишахари. Они купили, покупали целые общины браманов и пандитов и держали их под своим контролем. They had various idols and deities of demigods and goddesses made and they donated large sums of money in charity. У них были изготовлены разнообразные идолы и божества полубогов и полубогинь и они жертвовали огромные суммы денег Even today, the practice of making various kinds of idols is current at the time of Rasayatra. Instead of serving the deity of the Supreme Lord on the spiritual platform, They followed the system of idol worship and spent huge amounts of money on festivals. Вместо того, чтобы служить Божеству Верховного Господа на духовном уровне, они следовали системе поклонения идолов, идолам и тратили огромное количество денег на праздники. And then, after performing those pujas, they would take those idols. And place them in the ocean. И совершив эти пуджи поклонения, они брали эти идолы и помещали их в океан. Another, there's another reading of the second line of this verse. Есть другой способ прочтения второй строки этого стиха. 
it says putali viva dite deya bahudama which indicates that people were so maddened with material enjoyment that they used to uselessly and proudly spend money in marriage ceremonies between male and female monkeys. Другое прочтение этой второй стихи может указывать на то, что люди, которые обезумели от материального наслаждения, бесполезно и горделиво тратили деньги на то, чтобы устраивать свадебные церемонии между I thought that we've seen the extent of things today. But it appears that 500 years ago in Nabadwi they were into some very strange practices. You know, spending huge amounts of money to have a wedding ceremony between a male and a female monkey. Они тратили огромные деньги для того, чтобы провести свадебную церемонию для самки и самца обезьян. That is insane. Это же безумие. Should I share my realization of the monkeys that I had yesterday? <laughs> 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 Yesterday, Shiv Charan, after we finished our morning program and cleaned the house and everything, Shiv Charan and I were just off our back porch. We were doing some exercise together. And at one point, while I was, well, we were—he, she was facing me, and I was facing him, and we were doing push-ups. Uh, and I looked at the corner of the house, and there was a monkey sitting there. Mm. Kind of a big monkey. Крупная. And the monkey was trying to figure out what we were doing. And so I looked up and I said, please, Shiv, do what I do. And so we got up on our, you know, hands and knees. And we looked at this monkey and we started making monkey noises. And this poor guy, he decided, I better go to Mathura fast. <laughs> and then she walked up to the corner of the building and he said, there's a whole gang of those guys in the front of the house. So I said, on the count of three, you run that way and I'll run this way around the house. They'll see you and they'll think, well, we'll just be clever and run around the house. And so, one, two, three, we're off. And <laughs> when I came to the corner of the house, you know, the monkeys were running that direction. But when they saw me, they hit their brakes. And the guys who were in the front, they just immediately turned around and they started, you know, grabbing the other monkeys and jumping over them. And when I saw that, I started laughing so hard I thought I would die. And then they all climbed up in the tree. And they thought that that was the end of it. 
But Indra Dimna Swami's disciple Mahavan was with us as well. And within a second, Mahavan was climbing up inside the tree. <laughs> These monkeys were like, oh my God, what's happening? And 500 years ago, people were paying money to have male and female monkeys married. И 500 лет назад люди платили деньги, чтобы поженить самца и самку обезьяны. Текст 66. People squandered money on the marriages of their sons and daughters, and this way they wasted their human lives. Люди накапливали деньги на женитьбу своих сыновей и дочерей, таким образом они тратили впустую свои человеческие жизни. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur said it. You know, I didn't say it, he said it. You know, and the practice is still going on. People will spend huge sums of money on the marriage of their children. And of course it creates a, uh, it's an important samskar and it creates a, a very important impression in the minds of the young people getting married. But uh, some people, they spend millions of dollars. Even the so-called scholars, the Bhattacharyas, the Chakravartis and the Mishras they did not understand what was the real meaning of the scriptures. And even after studying all the scriptures, the teacher still engaged in such sinful behavior. Писания учителя, тем не менее, продолжали заниматься этой грешной деятельностью. И как следствие, и учителя, и ученики были наказаны Ямараджи. Все учителя того времени никогда не объясняли религиозный принцип этого века, которым является воспевание святых имен But they were possessed by one quality. Но все они обладали одним качеством. They always found fault in others. Они всегда искали недостатки в других. And they never glorified anyone. И никогда никого не прославляли. Yeah, it's, it's something phenomenal. Это что-то поразительное. That, uh, that, uh, they never taught, uh, that they, they studied all the scriptures, but they never taught that the principle, religious principle for this age, is the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Они изучали все писания, но они никогда не учили тому, что религиозным принципом этого века является воспевание Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And despite being advanced in knowledge, they all engaged in one activity, and that was to find fault in other people and never glorify anyone. Other than pure devotees who chant the names of Krishna, the selfish conditioned souls who are averse to Krishna are crushed by the stringent laws of karma, and instead of self-realization, they identify themselves with matter and always criticize the people of this world. Все, кроме чистых преданных, которые повторяют имена Кришны, являются эгоистичными, обусловленными душами, которые враждебны Кришне, и их раздавливают строгие законы кармы, и вместо самоосознания Они отождествляют себя с материей и всегда критикуют других людей этого мира. Therefore, Prabodhananda Saraswati has said. Поэтому Prabodhananda Saraswati сказал. For those who have attained the merciful sidelong glance of Gore. 
The world is the abode of happiness. And the position of Brahma, Indra and other demigods is considered to be no better than that of very small insects. И uh, положение Брама, Индры и любого другого полубога считают, они считают не лучше, чем положение мелкого насекомого. Regarding the Yuga Dharma, в отношении Yuga Dharma, whatever was attained in Satya Yuga by meditating on Vishnu, in Treta Yuga by performing sacrifice, and in Dwarpa Yuga by serving the Lord's lotus feet can be attained in Kali Yuga simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. In the Dwarpa Yuga, people should worship Lord Vishnu only by the regulative principles of Narada, Pancharatra and other such authorized books. In the age of Kali, however, people should simply chant the holy names of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Instead of glorifying Sri Krishna Kirtan as the Yuga Dharma, the argumentative and quarrelsome people were always busy talking about each other's faults. And then Srila Bhaktisiddhanta he cites the Bhagavatam. Lord Krishna speaks to Uddhava as follows. One should neither praise nor criticize the condition, nature and activities of other persons. Rather, one should see this world as simply the combination of material nature and enjoying souls. Did you get that? Yes, the Lord Krishna tells Uddhava. Господь Кришна говорит Somebody can, uh, somebody on Insta can put a, I don't know, you can't put a message on my page because that's not allowed anymore on my Facebook page. At any rate, um, my phone battery died. Батарея в телефоне села. We went out this afternoon to go to the bank. Сегодня днем я выехал, чтобы съездить в банк. It was empty out there. На улице было пусто. It was like Vrindavan years ago, except only buildings are there now. И все выглядело как Вриндаван много лет назад, кроме того, что появились множество уродливых зданий. We did our work at the bank. Мы сделали свои дела в банке. And then when I came out from the bank, there was a a police van sitting there. И когда я вышел из банка, стоял рядом полицейскими картофус. So I had Brindavan Bihari come, and we went, and there was an officer sitting in the van. Я взял Брендаван Бихари, мы подошли, там в автобусе сидел офицер. And I thanked the officer because the police had been monitoring the situation so carefully. Я благодарил этого офицера за то, что полиция так внимательно следит за ситуацией. Я спросил у него, когда же карантин закончится. Он сказал, скорее всего, не раньше, чем через три недели. 
Он сказал, что округ Матхура и теперь относится к красной зоне. So it's not good that it's a red area, but the lockdown is there is perfectly good with us. Конечно, не хорошо, что это красная зона, но вот карантин мне полностью подходит. Я молюсь за здоровье и благополучие всех обитателей этого округа. Но во многих местах этого мира а, правительство начинает открывать страны. Но тем не менее, я вам советую. Постарайтесь самоизолироваться. Don't uh, start going out and visiting malls and restaurants and going to crowded areas. Uh, crowded areas. Uh, don't start Okay, thank you all very much. Спасибо всем большое. We'll show you the deities now. Покажу вам сейчас божества. And we'll show you the pictures that Arjun Vigraha uh, made. И покажу вам uh, картины, написанные Арчи Виграхом. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, Okay. So first I'll show you one of the pictures that Archer made. <laughs> and we will ask Sheep Charan to lift that up and to take this necklace off. This and that's not good because the light shining. This is a hand drawing pencil drawing made by Archavigraha and just look how soft and gentle and beautiful and youthful uh, Radha Krishna looking. Это карандашный рисунок, который сделал Archavigraha и посмотрите, какие нежные, мягкие и юные Радха и Кришна на нем. And here is a big picture of Srila Prabhupada that she has done. А это большое изображение Шрилы Прабхупады, которое она написала. Those of you who have been to my house, you know this picture. Те, кто были у меня дома, знают это изображение. But all of the lines in Srila Prabhupada's charter are very finely written Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Но все вот эти линии на чадаре Шрила Прабхупада это очень мелко написано Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. I don't think it would be possible to see with this. We can try. But you can see all those lines are Maha Mantra. Вы можете видеть, что все эти линии это Maha Mantra. Very beautiful. And then here are the deities today. Giraj. Jai Giraj Maharaj Ki Jai. And here are Radha Govinda today. Is this Radha Govinda? Jai Jai Shri Radha Shama. And here is Govinda. Is this Govinda? And here are Dayan Thai, 
Gauru Chandra. Zis de Antai Gauru Chandra. Jai Nitai. Jai Gaur. Here's Petit Pavan. This Petit Pavan. Panchatattva. And Shad Goswami. Shad Goswami. And Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada. Okay, thank you all very much for being here. Спасибо большое, что были с нами. We'll see you all tomorrow morning. Увидимся завтра утром. Jiji Shri Radhe Shyam.